uterus. One of the most fascinating facts about bicorneate uterus, bicorneate uterus, is that it originates from a developmental error during embryogenesis, specifically the incomplete fusion of the paired so-called Müllerian ducts. This results in a uterus with two distinct cavities or horns, giving a so-called heart-shaped appearance. What is clinically important is that this bicorneate uterus is not just an anatomical curiosity, it carries reproductive implications, real reproductive implications, even issues. Women with this anatomically uh, an anomaly, anatomically anomaly, often present with recurrent pregnancy loss, preterm birth, or malpresentation such as, you name it, bridge delivery, bridge delivery especially, yeah. Interestingly, fertility itself is usually preserved, no problem, conception is without any issues, but carrying the, pregnant, but carrying the pregnancy to term it. This makes it a condition where the uterus can conceive, but struggle to sustain. Okay, so another key point is the diagnostic challenge. The bicorneal uterus must be distinguished from the sep septate, septate septum, septate uterus, as their management differs. Imaging with MRI or 3D ultrasound is essential, since the septate uterus can be corrected with hysteroscopic resection, while a bicorneal uterus typically requires a more invasive surgical approach such as metroplasty, metroplasty uh, and often conservative management is preferred. So the, the, the bicorneal uterus, my beloved, is a prime example of how embryological development has lifelong consequences, consequences for reproductive health, my beloved. It reminds us of the fine balance in the uterine anatomy and why accurate diagnosis matters for treatment, planning, and patient counseling. Okay? Stay blessed.